Let me start with Dr. Sarah Bjicada, who has recently joined FIND as the Regional Technical Director in, based in India. Professor Kirtan Dida from the University of Cape Town. Dr. Titus Divala from the University of Malawi. Dr. Hamida Hussein from IRD Global. And last but not least, Dr. Nestani Tugwadze from uh, NCLTD in Georgia. Thank you, everybody, for joining us for this important discussion. Can I ask, first of all, for just um, uh, uh, the panelists to, 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 uh, to, to, to address where do, you, where do you think your, your top three priorities are um, for, case, for um, systematic screening or case finding in your own country? Um, uh, and I think, you know, let's, if we can put those on the table, first of all, and then we can um, manage a discussion um, around that. Ms. So, uh, with respect to targets for um, active case finding? Yeah, your, your, your top three priority populations or, or oh, okay. clinic. So, um, in Malawi, the national program recog recognizes the uh, key priority populations being the contacts of TB patients um, and close contacts as well. And also, um, those uh, patients that are uh, in people that are living in high uh, high density urban centers and also uh, populations that are uh, patients that are presenting to uh, health facilities and people living with HIV uh, presenting to uh, to clinics are also promoted by the, both the HIV program and the national TP program so those are these uh, sort of high priority populations in Malawi I think it's quite similar in India. India is a high TB burden country. And what we've seen is, you know, that the urban slums, household contacts, and prisoners, you know, are the three top priority groups. But of course, you know, uh, India being a large country, there is also a lot of variability in terms of prevalence of TB. And so the scenario changes. Uh, it also depends, you know, how the transmission is happening and what are the healthcare services available. So it may not be like written in stone that these are the top three groups, but these could probably change, you know, with province to province or district to district. Yeah, I don't know if this is working. Yeah, so I think I had pretty much the same uh, three. I put uh, community-based active finding in these uh, peri-urban informal settlements or slums as number one, because that's really where the bulk of the missing cases are, and that's where most of the transmission is happening. Uh, second was healthcare facilities, and thirdly, I put down contacts um, of index cases. But I think uh, focusing on this community-based burden is a priority because that's where all the transmission is happening. And if we're really going to impact the epidemic, that's where we need to be looking. I mean, you raised the question of what diagnostics, what do we do now, and what do we do later on? But I would just like to suggest early on to park this for discussion later maybe we should be talking about embracing a new paradigm and that's taking the diagnostics out into the community and you know in the hiv field we have hiv self testing why can't we think about tb self testing and uh, claudia mentioned in the context of the existing diagnostics the different levels but maybe we beyond level 0 we need a level minus 1 right mm -hmm. you take the diagnostic out into the community it's available in supermarkets or kiosks in pharmacies, you can buy it, and you can go home and you can test, okay? And I think some of the, if you look at Claudia's, I mean, listen to her talk, I mean, some of these things are now tangible, right? Uh, these lateral flow assays and uh, the signatures on uh, simple platforms, uh, I mean, you can, uh, it's tantalizing, but you can envisage a scenario uh, not, too, not too far into the distant future where you could buy such tests. Uh, so I think the paradigm would be moving diagnostics out into the community. The question is, you know, how do we do that now? Uh, do we use things like Expert Omni uh, and other things? Uh, and CAD, as you said, and, you know, what do we aim for? Yeah. Um, so in Pakistan, we follow pretty much what you guys have already discussed, so I'll not repeat that. What I would like to add is, um, as IRD, uh, what we have tried to focus on is um, make uh, facility-based screening our priority. Um, and those are low-hanging fruit. People are already approaching the facility for symptomatic.